Well, with spring right around the corner, people suffering from seasonal affective disorder will find some relief in spring cleaning. And this week's segment of Center Solutions COVID Edition, Christy Edwards and Melanie Size explain that cleaning out the clutter is not only good for your physical health, but also for your mental health too. We remind people that cleaning and decluttering can give us all a sense of accomplishment, satisfaction, and some type of control. And right now, with everything that's going on, we are looking for some control. Sai says that it's important to start small so you don't get overwhelmed. And she also suggests making a list and setting time aside to do one thing each day. Make a list that allows you to tackle different projects on different days. That's a good way to start. Um, also, using a time blocking system can help. Next step, declutter. Many people have a closet or garage with boxes that haven't been opened in years. I know I do, but I do too. Edward says that this can actually be dangerous, especially if you live with an elderly person or a small child. We want people to think about why you're holding on to certain items. Is there an emotional attachment rather than real value? And while you're cleaning, don't forget to declutter your mind. The first step there is setting down that cell phone. It's hard, but that's right. It's the perfect time to unplug and really focus on the task at hand. I think for many of us, this is a big problem. Once again, guilty as charged. Um, avoid checking your social media and your email during the process of cleaning. You have that cleaning time slot. You need to treat it like an appointment with a very important person, you and your stuff. And it's also a good idea to set aside anything that might send you on a walk down memory lane. Instead of going through that old yearbook, when you find it, set it aside <laughs> for a night when you have time to be nostalgic. Yeah, definitely been a part of that. And it's never a bad idea to ask for help as well. It's easier for someone with no emotional attachment to decide what's worth keeping and remember to visualize the end goal. Keep your mind on the end goal. Uh, to avoid feelings of defeat when you're in the process of it. Sometimes when you see everything out, it's just, it's too much. But just remember, there is an end goal. Uh, imagine the sense of accomplishment and the feeling of, that a cleaner space is going to give you when it's all said and done. For more tips from Edwards and Size, make sure to check out their podcast. You can head to yourbasin.com.